love it. So you you said that you teach a lot of science. So um, I'm supposing that out of the big five um, uh, of instructional models that there are, um, you know, direct instruction, um, the cooperative learning, project based. Yeah. Uh, 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 inquiry based or Socratic method. My guess is that you probably stick more around uh, uh, project based and, and maybe direct instruction. W would that be true or, or what are your and, and cooperative learning? Oh, cooperative and, and three, learning, okay. Cooperative learning is huge because your your lab activities that you do involve a cooperative learning process. One of the, I would be arrogant to think that my method of teaching a certain point of content is the best. Yeah. However, somewhere in, in those groups that I create with the, for the students to work in, somebody in that group has the magic. Got it. They, they have an ability to say, oh, well, Mr. Patelis was doing this, Love and that. this is what he means, and they break it down in such mm. a way to one of their classmates where that, wow, okay. I get yes. it. Love it. See, I, I I kind of ignite a fire in some of the kids. I, I, I light something up in them. When they have an opportunity to work in groups, there's somebody, and this is what you hope for and pray for as a teacher, somebody in that group. And if you, if you can get to know your kids pretty well, you can create those groups and at least have one person who can ignite that fire, who can bring the fire to that little village. Wow, wow. And they can disseminate the information that I've been trying to convey to the students in a way where some of the other kids who are struggling can grasp it and not feel intimidated because, mm. oh, the teachers, this, or this. they're with their peers. So, so they let their guard down. They're willing to ask the questions that maybe they wouldn't ask me. Love Whereas it. some of those kids, those leaders in those groups don't feel comfortable uncomfortable asking me they'll, they, they'll get it they'll get it broken down they'll get it because they're willing to to take a risk got you got you some Would students you... are not willing to take a risk the ones who are what i call the movers and shakers in all my years of teaching are the ones who are willing to take risks yeah you, you have to risk being wrong so would you say that that is also one of your strategies to make your classroom culturally responsive you allow the students to speak their language, if you will, to one another. Absolutely. And, you know, once again, um, I let them know when we're in a classroom, I want you to be yourself, but I also want you to be professional. I right. want you to put your, say what you want to say, um, explain what you want to explain, break something down, but do it in a way that's professional. Now, I'll be the first to say, you know, I grew up, <laughs> I know what it's like to be on the street, I know right. the lingo and the things to say, how to move, to do the body language. But when you're in a, pre and that's wonderful. I never want to take that away from anyone because that's that's how we make social ties. That's how we connect with people, with our people. But when you're in a professional setting, you still want to bring your magic. You still want to bring your charm, your charisma, yes. Yes. whatever you have, that unique gift you have but you want to do so in a professional way. So people look at you and say, oh, okay, right. this person is doing this and, and they're doing it right in, yes. in a way so that your audience can be adults, can yes. be people who um, you, you can have a, an impact on a multi-level, multi-generational audience and gain and earn their respect, which yes. the, the, goal, the goal for all of us, I know when you're young, is not to remain young. The goal is to become an adult. Mm -hmm. We're really trying to raise and teach and help develop people to become adults. Yes. And I have to model, model adult behavior and I want my students when they're in the classroom to learn that. When, when they occasionally revert back to <laughs> childish things, you redirect, you, right. say, you know, that's okay, that's all right. But let's get back to this way let's do it this way and more often than not it works but uh sometimes that process can be challenging but that's th this is part of what we it's do part of the game right, right right this is the game exactly it's yeah. part of the game and yeah. when you develop that skill and you see somebody 
who in August, September, and October was this way, and then looking into December, January, February, when you see that change in that maturity, especially in March, April, and May, you're like, wow, look right. where you came from. You couldn't even right. sit in your seat. Right. Now you, you're you you're not only sitting in your seat, you're getting your work done, you're getting A's and B's. What happened? Right. Love it, love it's it. Well, maturity, you matured.
I, I'm, 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 I am, I am confident that someone has grown from what you, what you have just shared. So before we go, um, do you have any last words, any last tidbits you'd like to share before we conclude our interview? Yes. I want those of you that are looking to pursue a career in education to have a positive mindset, to believe the absolute best, and to project that to your students. And that has a powerful impact on your destiny. It really does. That is what has allowed me to do what I've been doing as long as I've been doing it with the clientele that I've been doing it with. For, for that long and for it to be something rewarding. So you have to believe the very best outcome. That's what I want to encourage you to do. Wow, wow. I'm going to give you snaps and, and a round of applause and all of it at the same time. Thank you, thank you very much, sir, um, for the seeds that you dropped on us. I am confident that someone's going to grow because of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you next time.